everyone, when you see me in this position, you know what is my motive. You know what is my motive. And for the evil ones, let me show you non-alcohol wine. <clears throat> That's a true word. I must celebrate. Whether you want to believe it or not, it is imperative that I celebrate after all that you evil ones have done to this man of God. You tarnish my name. You told a lot of lies on me on TikTok and Facebook and YouTube after the revelation that God gave me for President Donald Trump. And let me reiterate, the Lord reveals to me that Trump represents the church and Kalmala Harris represents the devil. The agenda, I am not building an allegation against her. She came out and exposed her motive, her character, her characteristics, her beliefs that opposes the will and purpose of God. There was a woman on TikTok who typed that I breed, I impregnate a woman. So I said, I, I responded, bring the impregnated woman and don't forget to bring the baby because me don't know my generation. Hallelujah. I must celebrate. Hallelujah. Listen, the Lord spoke to me that the very thing that happened to America will happen to Andrew Holness. The people are going to turn against you and vote you out. There will be many crying and weeping. Listen, see the towel here. All of you who mocking me and jeering me. You see, right now, all of those in America were mocking me. See, I bring a towel for you to wipe your tears. Hear ye the word of the Lord. This season, the evil ones will be exposed and be removed, eliminated. And those that have chosen by God will replace and take your place. Hear the word of the Lord and Jehovah's. Another will take your possession and your seat and your crown will fall off your head in disgrace and reproach. And that's a thus, said the Lord. Can I get a cheers? Can I get a cheers? Congratulations to President Trump. I wished one day I could shake your hands. President Donald Trump. Hallelujah. You defended the church and I'm going to declare what the news did not record. While Donald Trump was in power a couple of years ago, down in Africa, the Taliban's, the, the Muslim group, the radical Muslim group, were killing women, raping them, burning them in churches. And the very Donald Trump president, Donald Trump went down into Africa and warned the radical Muslims to leave God's people alone and they pack up the dulce and left Africa so a man who did that for the Christians and who hit him like a dose of poison he defended the church 
And all you Christians, so-called Christians, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know no shame? See the towel here. See the towel here. Una shame. And that young lady who typed on TikTok that me too enough. And know me enough. And know me enough. Hallelujah. And know, listen, I am to God be all the glory. I have never seen such a victory. Silence the global world. And I want to tell the global world that God is in control. From the perspective of Celestial, I don't want anybody bash Celestial. None of you. Don't bash her. Don't bash this young lady. Celestial, if you're listening to me, I too, as a prophet, has given prophecies. And some of them haven't came to pass. Your prophecy may be for the future. Your prophecy may be for the future. Remember when I prophesied in 2020, many of those prophecies did not came to pass immediately. But they are manifesting in 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026. They're seeing the prophecies. And we understand that prophecies come through three dimensions. The present, the past, the future. Many prophesy out of their heart because of their own personal agenda. And listen, according to Bible prophecy, a woman cannot go into that, into that white house. For now, I am not saying that a woman cannot go. A woman will not go in, in there. But according to Bible prophecy, the Bible speak of the bees, the leaders, the cow, the horn, the goat, which represent the masculine gender. And we know that the, the time that we are in right now, hallelujah, it is God's agenda, whether good or evil. Because some of us are under the order of evil, sanctioned by God. And some of us are under the order, hallelujah, of good. Determined, depending on your heart, your choice. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, I'm warning you, get yourself ready for your rags. Remember in the local government, many of your supporters were crying. Until now, they can't believe how you scraped through, how you came through. You robbed the local government election. But the Lord says, I'm to tell you, that he's going to do everything in his power to take you out. We know that you have the ability to steal the election. But what is to come? Dog eat your supper. And all of those who have been bashing the man of God. Listen, you're going to go down. I want to tell one Dan. One Dan, you came back and you type. If I have a word for Andrew Holness. You're going to have a heart attack Sunday. There is a word coming. You're going to have a heart attack. And one day, the Lord told me that you're a criminal. The Lord reveals to me that you're in the criminal realm. You're in the gun realm. And that is why you sent me a death threat. And I'm not telling a lie on you, one day. You are under the criminal realm. And Setak is coming to you. Thus said the Lord. I remember the young man in Ruby's gas station in Brownstown. They know about it. Rose up against me. The Lord began to speak to me after he disrespected me publicly in Brownstown at Ruby's. The Lord said, You're stealing your boss money. You're a thief. You're a crop. The police coming for you. Few days after police came and apprehended him apprehended him and locked him out locked him in in brownstone prison brownstone jail there was another policeman anybody remember that policeman who tried to give me a seat belt ticket when my seat belt was on my daughter was in the back of, of, of the car had on her seat belt before we drove up i said honey i said to my little princess put on your seat belt me i drew my seat belt on the camera was here the camera was here 
as a proof and he wanted to put handcuff on my hand. The residents rushed down upon him and said, Listen, if you touch the pastor, bang around. When the inspector heard of what they called me, inspector called me and said, Pastor, what went wrong? People were concerned. People in high places were concerned because they know I am not a troublemaker. I am a law abiding citizen. They fired him, they removed him. Yesterday, citizens came to me, residents of Browns of Pastor, they moved the man. They said, You're not telling me. God already told me. The people said, Listen, we fear the God that you serve. I want the people of Jamaica. God is going to remove your idol. God is going to remove your bro devil, your bro God. God will remove him. And that's a dust, said the Lord. Celebration, congratulations, President Donald Trump. I'm looking one day to shake your hand. God bless you, sir.